Hello guys, my name's Ben, and uh, it's been a while since we did an, uh, one of these these bucket things. Uh, quite a while. So today we're going to be doing about hooking into different plugins, which is something I've been asked about a lot. And permissions are coming, by the way, guys. But it's just Owen wants to do that tutorial and and stuff. So just just leave it. Just it, it's coming. It's coming. Um. So anyway. To do to hook into other permissions, there's there's two ways you can do this. Now there's an easy way and there's a hard way. And first of all, I'm going to show you the easy way. So you're going to have to have the plugin installed on your server. So if we go into my plugin, my uh, oh, my server folder, um, it's empty. Okay, so you're going to have to install uh, whatever you want. So for this, I'm going to use Iconomy, which Oh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna drag that into there. So we've got economy in there. So let's just um start up the server. There we go. Okay, it's generated that file. So now economy started up and everything's good. So what we're gonna do is this is gonna be the easy way. So if uh so if the command is uh, for this we'll say um, ICO for our economy um, we're going to want to basically do a command which allows us to give them the money without having to actually go and change the files in here to match the files in the economy folder so to do this we do bucket dot uh, bucket dot ah oh, sorry no no, no this dot get server dot dispatch command now the command sender is going to be this um, dot get server dot get console sender so it's basically getting the console and that's what's sending the command and the second one is what the uh, commands gonna be and the command is going to be uh, money give bench 3 500 that's what it's going to be. So let's uh, let's test this out. Let's go. Oh no, not config plugin .yml. Let's open that up. Open it up. You know, like like normal things do. And now you're not responding. Good. So so ico. Uh, let's save that. Let's refresh all of this. Export it. Let's export it uh, to here, and let's call it. Uh, uh, I don't know, something like that. Okay. So now this is exported. Oh, that's just because of the play. Um. Oh. Uh, Alright, bucket server, start the server, open up stuff, and I'll be right back with you in the game. Okay. So, we're in. And, just trying to work out what this map is. Alright, okay, so anyway, um, what we're going to have to do is check my money first of all. So, I'm on $30. Now, if I do ICO, and then check my money you'll see it's given me five hundred and thirty dollars and in here it said it bench three's account had five hundred dollars credited because we had I ico but it won't work because of the player sending it um so ico and it'll say again that five hundred dollars now for the hard way so first of all what you want to do is you're going to right click on your package and go to properties java build path add external jars and economy okay so that's now added all of economy stuff referenced into your package so what we could do is we could um we could do uh public final economy ico equals new i economy like that 
and it would say uh, okay so do you want to come on import economy and it'll do that for you so now we've got access to the main class and economy but the reason this is harder is because you have to you have to go uh, onto here ah I've got so many tabs open uh, and you've got to go basically you have to find their panel so if we go to economy bucket and let's hope it loads basically what you have to do is you have to find which class the thing that you want to do is in so I think I think I've done this before for economy um, it's in accounting AC equals new accounting uh, this is just a guess uh, account ac accounts I think actually and then down here what we can do is we could do uh, AC dot um, I, th I think it's AC dot get and then player dot get name and then dot uh, get holdings and then dot add and you have to add the amount that you want so it's add 500 but if you didn't have this knowledge beforehand you'd have to go onto here and they have to go into their source code you'd have to go through see all their methods and look at them which is what I had to do to find this so what we can do is if we export this now next finish okay reload the server um, and we do money so I'm on 1030 and if I do ICO oh so that didn't work one second alright so instead of that let's just do the music do right set balance and then 500 we could do this is why it's so much harder because you've got to look through all their files this is this is just a way I, I don't recommend of doing it because it's just a lot more confusing like probably confusing you by doing this um, see it just doesn't it doesn't work sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, I don't know but anyway um I highly recommend using the first way of doing it because it, it doesn't involve other things but a downside to that can be things like you um, having to have a console and the console to be allowed and if you're in a control panel it's a lot more difficult just it can it's a lot harder the second version it's a lot more reliable really you can make it send messages it's it's a lot of a better way of doing it but it requires a lot more background knowledge uh, of the plugin itself um, so if you are wanting to do it the second way you're gonna have to research the um the plugin before you do it so next episode is going to be about uh, console command senders so if you're sending a command from the console and permissions are coming soon guys so don't worry and I'll see you next time.